Okay, so one of the first walks we're going to do here on this channel is going to be walking the southwest quarter of Park. We're going to be starting off right at the beginning here at Forest Hill Station and then sort of make our way all the way down the back bay going down the quarter of Park. So I'll try to chime in now and then, give some insights and whatnot, but hopefully this should be a really peaceful, calm walk this evening. And we will make the left this way there's actually another way to enter the park in on the right side over there if you want to but see us you'll see a lot of bikes a lot of cars and stuff not cars you'll see some cars but a lot of bikes and a lot of people walking their dogs and stuff like that it's a pretty nice sort of neighborhood for that and it's a pretty nice walk for this as well too And what you're going to hear to your right is a lot of the trains that are coming. Okay, so what you just heard there is basically well, two sets of trains go by. One, the commuter rail, which is on one track, the Amtrak, which is on another track, and then over the regular Orange Line station, Orange Line train, that also runs up and down. Because the one thing about the Southwest Quarter Park, it actually follows right down the Orange Line pretty much all the way. So you have that on our right, it'll switch to our left. We'll get a good view of it at some point as you're gonna hear it. And as you'll see us walking, you'll see, like I said, dogs, dog parks and stuff like that. You'll also see one side meant for people walking, one side meant for people on bikes. And that's going to get interesting as we go down through here. So we just came from the Forest Hills area. And what's really cool about this park is it pretty much this walk, it goes all the way through different parts of the city. So when I said you're going to have Forest Hills, we're going to get into JP, Roxbury, Back Bay. You're going to see how the looks and everything change and become so much more different as you kind of go through each part of town. Understanding. <laughs> He's itching to play. <laughs> she really <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, everybody's got their dogs out. It's a nice Friday evening, so everybody's happy and relaxed. But you probably can't, I don't know if you can see that from a distance over there, but we'll walk by in a second. It's like little gardens and parks and playgrounds, you'll see. Yeah, right over there, it's like a nice little community garden that's like kind of over there. You'll see a bunch of those all up and down this walkway. And playgrounds for the kids to play in as well too. There are a ton on this, this walk. Walk should take me about an hour and a half. If I speed walk, it'll take me an hour. It's a little over about four miles or so, I think.
sun's going down. Sun's going down. Go ahead. All right, make our way across the street here, and this is where I guess we split the path a little bit. And I'm supposed to walk to the right, which we are going to do. And on the right here, we're going to come across this giant field. You're going to see more dogs and stuff like that. People just kind of laying in, in the grass patch over there. And what's really cool, I recently learned, uh, a few of my family members actually went to this high school right over here. I think it's Boston English. Gonna be bikes and cars kinda and runners whizzing by me through the whole time. This is like a big circle that kind of goes around right here where this grass patch is. And I'll try to point out the T-stop stations as we come to them. We haven't reached the first one just yet. We'll go ahead and cross. And this is where we're gonna live a little dangerous. And we're gonna stay on the left side instead. Pretty much the reason for that is just it's a lot more comfortable walking on this side versus walking this street. You'll see that in a moment. Because I will eventually walk on that side. And you'll see how close to the cars we are and how uncomfortable that actually is. Alright, we basically kind of mostly came out of Roxbury and rolling effectively into the Jamaica Plain area. That's an interesting horn for a bell for a bike. I was about to say car. <laughs>
Okay, we're coming up on the, one of the first stops here on the orange line, and you're coming, going north from south, which is green. Just right over here. And you'll notice like a common brick theme, pretty much all of the orange line stations on this side. We're there. And that restaurant Evergreen is supposed to be pretty good as well too. I'm gonna try and visit there at some point. Alright. Yeah. I'm actually gonna follow the law. And not just jaywalk. I don't know what this guy's doing right here, who just flat out stopped in the middle. And now making a turn. Effectively. Yeah, I don't know either, buddy. One of the things you'll definitely notice in this city is that everyone jaywalks. It's just kind of a thing, <laughs> well-known thing. Luckily, I didn't jaywalk there, but you will definitely probably catch me doing that at some point here. It's pretty interesting. Building over there, that white and sort of gray one there on the side. And I was a little quiet there. I was just kind of enjoying the sort of peaceful zen that you can get when walking down this part of the city. It's just nice. keep straight or we can sometimes walk off the beaten path and we're gonna walk off the beaten path <laughs> just a little bit switch it up not too high of a hill as you can see And we can walk right on down. All right. Back onto the very familiar beaten path. Whew. Good little walk, a little breeze out here. I did this walk like a week ago with a different camera. It was much busier around this time than it 
kind of is right now. Oh, cool, they finished this construction over here. So we can kind of take a look. Like a, a whole skate park right over there. All ramps, everything. I think it's pretty cool. I'll check it out real quick. pretty cool this is definitely like new new within like the last few months pretty cool all right let's make our way back down it again here Ooh. back on the path there's another kids park over there in the distance tennis court over there in the distance too. Lots of tennis courts up and down here and basketball courts. Oh, that's nice. He actually warned me that he was on the right. Very few bikers really actually do that. Somebody over there honking crazy. I'm not sure what's going on there. That's like a getaway. Hmm. Interesting. switch here and come across this way because I think this is where we're going to see a little bit closer oh no it's the other it's a little bit further down actually Here we got more playgrounds on this side. We got a whole basketball court and everything. And outside. Another big field over there as we come up to another station, which is Stony Brook. And you'll also notice, you'll see a lot of these blue bike stations as well too. Very, very useful way to get around the city, especially if you live somewhere near the corridor park here. All right, here we go. You can take a look at the map 
park here to get an idea kind of what we're working with. Mostly just a straight line with a few curves here and there. Make our way across and over here is Stony Brook. Oh. Sorry about that. <laughs> right over here is Stony Brook itself. Getting used to this new gimbal here. Sorry about that. It is really quiet for a Friday evening. Got some more skaters over there on the other side of the train tracks. And don't worry, we'll get a good view of the train tracks. So I know a couple of really good spots you can get a really nice view. Looks really cool. We have Lamerton Street, some pretty nice houses. Kind of all along this area. That's a nice cool breeze. here and we're gonna stick to the bike path just a lot nicer and more comfortable to walk on to be honest We got another sort of hidden garden over here on the left, which I'll show you once these bikers sort of pass by. How you uh, doing? How you doing, man? Good. All right. So we take a look kind of over here, past that tree I just pointed you guys at. There's the little garden kind of right over there, right over there. 
and some really nice looking houses over there. Pretty cool. I like how those porches look. going by. <laughs> coming up here, coming up to pretty two pretty cool things here. We're coming on the famous Center Street, which we'll probably do a walk down on at some point as well too, because this is technically the very beginning. Also definitely check out El Panino Cafe best chicken sandwiches in the area. Amazing, great pizza, always good food out of there. Very nice people. Definitely a good place to check, check out. I'm gonna wait for the next one here. For a hand. But this is Center Street, which is typically always, always busy. People coming up and down. And right over there is Jackson Square Station. It's kind of the first sort of, I would call, mini major sort of, hub when it comes to being on public transit in the area because you can catch a lot of buses and things kind of from there to take you to different parts of the city. And one thing about Center Street, which is a major, major street and a very big one, is that there's always traffic. There's always cars coming up and down, like all the time. light takes forever. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hopefully this should turn in a few. There we go, I see it. And I'll be able to walk by. You can take a look there on that side. They walk by kind of up Center Street over there. All right, continue to make our way down here. Another blue bike station. And a lot of people take bikes from here. This is almost always empty at this station here. But that's the back of Jackson Square station. 
Blue bikes are very convenient. They're like 285 as of, as of this video for per 30 minutes and whatnot. And it's actually really easy just to kind of grab one. Just got to use the app on your phone. Pretty simple. Actually, you don't even need an app either. You can actually just go right on the actual uh, terminal that's there and rent them too. You'll see them everywhere around the city. But they only go but so far. Okay, coming up on another park right here. And this one's pretty cool. She got a ton of stuff right here. So you can see on the, over the horizon, you have that big jungle gym. You have the little different things for kids to play with right over here, swings and whatnot. So that's just stuff that you also have over here, like sort of a, a workout area. You can do body workouts and stuff right over there. Over here is this. Got a little pulley slide thing right over there. All sorts of cool stuff. And if you're wondering why I'm not zooming in, it's because I'm using a uh, prime lens. So it's gonna be a little hard to zoom. I don't have zoom capabilities with this lens. All right. So I should keep walking up this way. And now we're getting here, another main street, gonna be on our right, it's gonna be Columbus. Which turns into Tremont, and then back into Columbus. It's very confusing. It makes no sense, but that's Boston. <laughs> you can take a look there. Basketball court. So it's the cool stuff, the tennis court right there. Uh-oh. All right, so we're gonna live a little dangerously again. And we're gonna walk on the right side, which is supposed to be desirable to walk on. I don't know if you can see from a distance over there, like Millennium, Millennium Tower and the Peru. Those are kind of North Stars. You pretty much follow that way and it takes you right into north of the city. All right, let's go to the right. We're just on the regular Conkey sidewalk where you're supposed to walk and you're like mad close to these cars going by, as you can see. It is not comfortable. A little more comfortable across the street over there but when I walk here, it's kind of tight. So it's not really the most comfortable feeling walking down this way, which I think is one of the reasons why most people will just walk up over here on the path.
possible. Believe it, I trained to pass. So, before they put this outdoor garage up, you used to be able to see that mural over there on a really good view. It's really cool. Very, very nice one. Maybe we'll have to walk by it at some point if we do a walk of Columbus Ave, because it goes all the way into the south end. It's a pretty cool walk. We'll have to do that at some point. Trying to walk back on the better side, which is the bike side. And we're gonna wait for this truck to pass through. Not gonna jaywalk while well, I was about to. Have another car coming past, let that come by. I'm still waiting for this. Kind of waiting for the bikers to come by. This bike kind of just didn't walk. But they're going to take their chances anyways. All right, there we go. Let them by. And I'll walk by here. But if you hear a dip in the audio, that's because one of my favorite songs is just playing from Nas. Classic. Nas is like, but the way YouTube be working, eh don't want to catch anything on that.
All right, we're coming up on a few different things here. So on the left here, besides the Domino's, is Roxbury Crossing. Uh, right over here, which leads up into uh, another main street over here, which is Tremont Street going that direction. Which quite frankly doesn't make any sense, I know. Explain it another time. Then over here on the right, over in a distance where you see that green roof, that is the Reggie Lewis Center. Pretty cool athletic training center. There's a lot of events there. Uh, there's actually a gym there you can go to. Um, it's named after the uh, Reggie Lewis, who was a Celtics player who tragically passed away pretty early in his career. Back in the, I want to say early 90s. There's something definitely behind me that I think I want to let pass. There you go. Back there creeping, I wasn't sure. <laughs> Ooh, whole bunch of gnats. <laughs> Okay. Now, I did promise you a pretty good view. This is gonna be at least one of them. We're going to wait for the cars. I guess they're gonna let me pass, it's pretty cool. And then we're gonna to go to the left here, go off the path just a little bit, walk up over here. We're gonna check out, see if we can get it. Right about here in the center. Oh, they put the metal panes up. He used to be a real, real good shot of the trains, sort of from this side, and a view of south of the city. Whew, but I will, uh, there's another place we can definitely check this out and get a good view. But if I turn right around here, you can see the next basketball courts tennis courts and you can see big blue glass right over there in the distance that is 200 Claridon Hancock Tower a lot of people will refer to it as well two guests used to be called that is definitely the North Star if you're walking this path because we're basically going to nearly walk right into the building at the end of this 
but you can see here we're all the way up here at Ruggles which is basically the halfway point how much sort of the area around changed all the different sort of we're more of a like more of a, more homes in one area then it got a lot more urban it's all that sort of cool stuff this is that's what makes this road really cool you just kind of get a little bit of everything and we'll let these kids come by and we'll walk right over this way watch out for that little hole and make our way down And over here to the right is one of the biggest police stations in the city. I don't know if this is the headquarters or anything anymore. I know when I first came back up here to school that we actually got a tour of this place and it's pretty, it was a pretty big deal. It's pretty massive, pretty state of, art, state of the art at the time. But that was a while ago. So I don't know if it's been surpassed since. I think somebody tried to dunk and caught a Sprite commercial. Oh, it looks like they're doing a little movie night over here. It's pretty cool. Perfect spot for it, perfect night for it. They used to have a, like, actually, they had like, they used to have a, like, a little small playground right there next to the police station. Looks like they dug it up. I don't know what they're going to put there. Another tennis court over there. here and now we're walking up into another I will call it a major hub in terms of transportation on the subway that would be Ruggles station right over here you have the obviously the orange line you have commuter rail you also get a major amount of buses and we're also near a major school here in Northeastern University which is technically down that way or that way rather if we walk down that way Finally down that way. But they have a big dorm over here as well too. Let's see. Relatively new too. And now we're basically kind of at the halfway point. What's pretty cool, we're gonna come up to some new stuff that they've also built on the left side of us, you'll see here. It used to be just this big dirt field with a couple things on it, and over the last couple of years, they really transformed that area. It's mostly all Northeastern stuff though. One of the bigger colleges in the city of Boston.
All right, there's another entrance there for Ruggles Station, kind of over there. See there? It's a nice station, actually. It has a cool look to it. Church bells. Church is literally right there behind those trees over there. I mean, in Massachusetts, you can basically trip over a church, especially in the city. There's so many. on some big new building. I don't even know the name of it, honestly. But it's a big part of what they kind of changed over here in Northeastern. Massive, massive building. All right, let's, let's try to check to see if we can find the name for it anywhere here. And this new bike path that they put here as well too. Pretty cool. I don't think even my lens can get in how big this building is. It's massive. There we go. The name is Interdisciplinary Science and Engineering Complex. Oh, that just probably means someone hasn't sponsored it yet. <laughs> no way you leave it that name. That's the weirdest name for, for that, especially on a college campus. They just haven't found a sponsor yet. They just haven't found a sponsor yet. All right, here we're coming up on this brand new sort of multi-purpose sort of park and sports complex. That's just amazing to see. It was just literally a bunch of dirt and land and a giant soccer field that was barely taken care of. And now they have this massive park here. As you can see right in here. And you get another shot of big blue glass over there too. It's a giant kids park and then you have the soccer field. We're gonna come around some tennis courts. I think they have everything over here but a basketball court, which is kind of weird. They almost have everything.
You can see the Prudential, Millennium Tower, a whole bunch of office buildings, giant buildings over there. Always soccer games and stuff always going on around this part of town. All right, now this is where we're gonna make a little bit of a detour. Now, this is Columbus. We can keep going down there. There's some pretty cool stuff leading into the south end, but we'll do that in another video. We're gonna make the left though instead and go down this way. Okay, so normally we'd be crossing the street over there to basically continue down the path, but we're gonna step off the path just a little bit because I promised a good view. And I think I might have just missed the trains. Yeah, I can hear them coming by. This is a real cool view you can get. Cool. So walk up here. See the view up here, which we'll get to in just a moment. So I actually want to get over here. To the left side be able to give you this sort of really cool view right here where you can see all the tracks and everything. Probably won't be too in focus. And we used to have a bit of a better view of it straight at on, but can at least give you this here. Pretty nice view. All right, we'll make our way on back on the path. Yeah, it used to be able to see a little bit more when you went down here, but what we'll do is we'll try to catch it on the other side here.
Yeah, right? I had a little jump cut there. Someone was asking me sort of what I do and stuff with YouTube and sort of recording any equipment I have. So kind of told him, gave him some little tips and tricks. She had contact info. Always good to do that. I try to be, try to be as nice as possible, obviously. Sometimes I'm like super focused into what I'm doing with the recording. So I'm kind of like, it's weird. It's, only content creators will understand that kind of mindset and focus that you're kind of in when you're in the middle of recording. <laughs> Definitely, we're not trying to be rude. Just got a, kind of a focus that we're on. But we definitely love to talk about everything that we're doing with this stuff because we're so into it. And now we're coming up here on the left it is Massachusetts Avenue Station or Mass Ave, as it's usually called. It's another major street we may be able to walk down. That's a pretty long street. <laughs> I have to pick a certain section of that because it's a major, major, major street in the of Boston, basically the greater Boston area of Massachusetts in general. All right. Well, what's pretty cool is there's usually a secret tunnel you can go down to get across the street, but I'm pretty sure it's probably going to be blocked. But we can at least check to see if it's there. If not, we'll just go over the top. Hmm. All right. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, it's open this time. Sweet. So right going right under Mass Ave. Street's right above us here. Just walk under this little secret tunnel. Seems creepy, but there's cameras and everything around here too. But definitely be careful if you're walking through here. You never know who is here. And we come right out to here. And that's where we were just before. And this right here is basically Massachusetts Avenue. Down there. And it goes forever. Down there as well too. But we're gonna walk back this way. Now we're gonna go ahead and continue to walk. I'd let them pass right down this way and continue our own path. We got about a quarter of the way left to go. And you'll see a lot of like in this part just here, you're gonna see a lot of flowers and dog parks and all sorts of cool stuff in this part of the part of the walk. Go 
a little bit off the path here. Into the street. It's pretty cool. Nice. Oh, look at that. There's a bunch of these sunflowers that typically tend to be all up and down this part of town, at least this part of the walkway. And you get some really, really nice ones too. stone houses and stuff like that. This is basically the south end. All right there's our North Star being to and declare it. I try not to call it the Hancock because that's what I would usually would call it, Hancock Tower because that's what it's usually referred to as. little tennis court over there and then over here on the right is basketball court and it's typically what I find this is the most used basketball court over here is this one oh like a lot of people are in here They're usually balling over there here goes another pretty cool view Heading into the home stretch here. All right. See right above up there.
one of the big dog parks right there. I think they're all having a good time over in there. Little doggies. I'm well, not so little, there's a couple big ones over there. But you get the idea. That's so what I was talking about right here where you could really get some really, really cool looking ones. All right, let's keep the walk going. We are near the end. I think my time estimation was about right. If I hadn't made a couple of stops, I'd probably be an hour on my own, probably. Yeah, the other day I was actually... Okay, we're headed up the home stretch here. You're gonna see to our left, this is basically the back of a, uh, I don't know why I'm drawing a blank here, the back of Copley Mall. We have a tender green, there's like a big like, sort of a stationary bike place up there. They just renovated that whole thing recently. some patrons over there at the restaurant. Oh good, Salty Pig will open back up again. I definitely want to check that place out. I haven't been there before and I always wanted to try it and I thought they shut down for good. And here we are walking right in. It's a back bay station. This is another major, major station. So here you'll get Orange Line, Commuter Rail, and the Amtrak all through here. Whenever I take buses to, I'm trained, excuse me, to New York. I uh, take them right out of here. Actually, they do have buses come out of this place too. But, yep, pretty much here we are on the cross of uh, Dartmouth Street, which leads you into the south end. So if we went down that way, it's more towards the south end area. The left here is more towards Copley, more towards the city. And remember when I always said, that's the North Star. <laughs> to undeclare it is the North Star. You see it's like right there. We can walk, literally, literally walk into it right now. Well, that's pretty much it. Thank you, and I hope to put a few more walks up here for you that you can enjoy. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are below. Thanks for walking.